welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, my little helper and I will be sharing my autumn homeware haul. Now, this is definitely a budget haul and it's from several different shops. Um, I have been collecting these items over probably about six weeks now. Um, I do have most of the prices, so if I do remember the prices, I will be sharing it. If not, then my sincere apologies. So I shall... Should we just jump right in and start off with good old Poundland. First off, they have these, it's just foam little pumpkins. Um, it is actually a Halloween pumpkin, so it lights up and it has a little face on it, which I think is so cute. Um, my thought process basically was that what I will do is place it like that autumn and then when Halloween comes around I can just turn it around two options for pound uh, for a pound and um, it also comes in this beautiful sort of burnt orange glittery one again with the little light up face so I really like those very lightweight as well so if the kids happen to drop it on themselves nobody will get hurt they also do a pack of these tiny little Glitter pumpkins for a pound. There's 20 in there, um, which I think is really good value for money. Um, last from Boundland, I picked up four of these little pumpkin mugs, which I will be signing at the um, coffee station. I think those are really cute for a pound. Um, I believe Home Bargains do some for two pounds. I'm not sure if it's actually cups or whether it's bowls that they do. So. If you know please let me know as well um talking about home bargains let's move on to them firstly i bought this little cookie jar pumpkin from them i'm not quite sure it was either 3.99 or 4.99 but really cute um next up of course from home bargains i had to go into the candles um, i believe they were 2.99 each so i got gingerbread which is my absolute favorite um, warm apple and cinnamon as well as the mulled wine one and lastly I just picked up a small version of pumpkin china I believe that one was something like 99p but I might be wrong um, next up is the range firstly I bought three of these which I'm my plan is just to put it in with um, a floral decoration that I already have so these beautiful little pumpkins really like those I like the natural texture of it next up are these two I think they were $6.99 for the pack of two I just thought that they're really nice to kind of style up so they have a little sort of divot over there very natural wood which I really like and um, next up is Ikea so from Ikea firstly I bought this pack of four little Sort of pumpkins they're like a gray color um i believe they were four pound fifty for the pack of three which i thought was quite a nice price um and then i also bought this little wreath um from ikea and let me just double check the price for you um that was three pound fifty really sweet little wreath um, and then I popped into um, Hobbycraft. Now, this is not a shop that I go into that often, but I'll definitely have to change it because they really had some very cute little things. So from Hobbycraft, I bought this pack of four quite weighty little pumpkins. They look like I'll get one out for you in a minute. Um, they were £5 for the four, but I think they're such good quality. I really do like them. Very, very sweet. Um, I also bought, so there were two different sizes that I got, so the bigger one, it's just like ceramic, I think it's meant to be painted, but I quite like just the plain white texture of it, just leaving it plain like that, so the bigger one was, let me just double check, £2, and then I bought three of the little ones, which was £1 each, really cute. They also had these little mini paper mache pumpkins and they were, they came in a pack like that of four, whoopsie. 
like that. And they were £4 for the four. Again, you can probably, they probably made for crafting, but I quite like just leaving it plain like that, to be honest. So really sweet. Um, next up is, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but Shein. I've, this is actually the first time that I've ordered from Shein, believe it or not. Um, and I'm pleasantly surprised. So we'll definitely be using them again. Um, first up are these yellow sort of flowers. They did come in different colors as well. I paid £1.20 per stem and I bought five of them. So a little bunch like that, which I am obsessed with. I think they are so cute. I also bought these little white ones. And I think they were £1.20 for five, and I bought two packs, so I have ten of these, which I really like. Next up is, of course, the maple garland. Um, the maple garland was £4.36, a bit of a random amount, but I think that is really, really lovely. Um, quite impactful. I think it's actually two meters long. Um, next up is... I don't know if it is actually eucalyptus, it kind of looks like eucalyptus to me. Um, also another garland. I'm hoping to use this on my dining room table, but I haven't quite decided yet. Um, let me just double check the price for that one, which was £3.60 for that one. Then I bought a selection of cushion covers. They were all... How much were they? £1.60 each. So first I got pumpkin spice and everything nice, like that. £1.60 for that cover. Um, I said take me to the pumpkin patch. Again £1.60. And the last one was Hello Autumn. Really lovely, also £1.60. And then the last thing I got from Shein was this doormat let me just double check the price and that one was three pound 40 hello pumpkin it's quite a small one so my plan is actually to put a dew type one underneath this by the front door well that's my plan but we'll see um lastly actually no two shops left and um, we'll move on to b&m next first i bought this light up pumpkin which I love. I think it was seven pound from B&M. Then yeah. I got this little guy, this little gold squirrel. I can't remember how much he was, but I want to say he was about four pound something in that region. Anyway, really sweet. And then I just bought two kind of white throws. So the first one is this oversized Arctic faux fur throw. So cozy. I actually have this one in pink as well, but I thought for autumn, winter, the white would be lovely. It's quite big. It's 150 by 200 centimeters, and it was um, 20 pound. Um, and then I also bought this. This is called the Savannah Tufted Tussle Throw. So it sort of has that sort of detailing, and then of course the tussles, the bottom there. It was 15 pound, and it's a bit smaller. It's 125 by 150 centimeters. So this one isn't so warm. The other one is really comfy and cozy. Um, so the last shop is, of course, TK Maxx Home Sense, because you can't really talk about autumn decor without talking about TK Maxx. Can we? No, we can't. Um, so the first one that I got was this. They were all around between five and eight pound. They all, these ones are all glass. I have this sort of gold one with little speckles, which I absolutely love. So I'm obviously going for sort of neutrals and then just little pops of orange throughout. Got this little one, another sort of glass and it's a bit textured. And then a little baby one. I say little baby, it is still not that small, speckled. I think it's very, very cute. And then the last one that I got, the very last item, last but not least, of course, is this covered jar. This one was $4.99. Again, it is a Halloween one, but as I mentioned with the Poundland ones, the plan will be to, I don't know, place it that way around, and then it's quite monochromatic. 
And then when Halloween rolls around in October, I will turn it around and I think the kids will really like that. Um, if you have any questions about any of the items, just let me know um, and I'm happy to respond to any comments down below. With all that said, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some inspiration um, and I look forward to seeing you in my next one. Bye! <laughs> Say bye bye!